Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner and welcome to Resident Evil Village. Okay, first thing I need to address, it's probably going to be blatantly obvious, the uh, load game. What happened was, I'm literally just after recording the first part. And as I was shutting off my camera, my computer crashed. And... I wasn't able to recover uh, Recover the first part, there was nothing saved because obviously when the Elgato capture software were, was um, exporting the video, I'm guessing there wasn't enough time to, uh, or there wasn't any sort of backup system there in place. I know uh, that Elgato can recover a certain video files but unfortunately not this time because I didn't click stop that's why sorry so that, that was a bit of a uh, quite a conundrum so yeah not a great start not a great start I mean I've enjoyed it so far I'll play through it just for the sake of having a part one up but like, you'll have to forgive me if my reaction is going to be bland, or if my commentary is going to be bland, because it is really a kick in the teeth. And now, my computer isn't bad. Like, the specs of it are decent enough. I'm guessing that I just might need to um, rejig the hard drives, because this is being saved to an M2 drive, so maybe I might need to... Uh, what's run and check this scan on it although I shouldn't need to because it's, it's an M2 drive it should perform okay oh wait is this being saved to my M2 or is it being saved to my 500 gig regular hard drive I, I, I forget I, I, I forget it either way it doesn't matter I'll get right into it and I'll just breeze right through it so standard difficulty and I'll just let the webcam fade out long ago a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is given. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. 
woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh. I'll finish dinner. Hey, Rose, your mother doesn't want to remember him. I can't blame her. All right, here we are in the house. Something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Yeah, I did say something. You want to fight? Anyway, I've been through here. I've interacted with everything before. You hungry? No? Yeah. Maybe later then. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. Oh, okay, jeez. You're very threatening. Nothing new there. Just show you what's here. Just some baby food. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Yeah, well, that's good. At least you have a sock pile. And, of course, we have her half birthday. And we have a half cake. February 2nd, 2021. Rose's half birthday. So she was born in 2020. The year of the coof. Her birthday will be here before we know it. They grow up fast. Let's yeah, just they... enjoy it while we can. Yeah, they sure do. There's a few things I could interact with here, but I'm not going to bother. It, it, just a few photographs. Like I said, um, I'm already disappointed because, you know, my first uh, video. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Okay, once things warm up, so... It is a little chitty out. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Yeah, and I was saying in my initial recording that I think that story is going to be quite um, relevant, quite pertinent to the story. Not sure how, but I'm guessing that it might be a folklore tale that ties into the events of the game. Maybe. And he will just go to the back of here, back of uh, the house, because there's a small bit of dialogue. Again, not relevant, but still, just nice to include it. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Mm hmm. We sure do. So, just a bit of background. So, we are now in hiding, apparently, as you'll see when we pick up this paper. Okay. Curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. They're calling it the gas incident and not the biohazard incident. Basically, Umbrella trying to cover what happened, or trying to cover up what happened. So, the committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up into mud rock under the sea. Lies. Jack Baker, 57, and his family who were exposed to the gas perished. Ethan Winters and his wife are also believed to have been nearby, but the current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Everyone's forgotten about this already. Yeah, they don't know the truth. Uh, from the trailer, Chris has been painted as the bad guy, but almost there, honey. We don't know. We don't know yet. And here's our little uh, love nest. And those are Rose's clothes for tomorrow. And down you there go. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. If only that were true. Okay, just gonna take a look about in here. And we have an email. Or a little diary. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. 
we finally settled down in a new life in Europe and can bring up Rose properly. Or bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it. But can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. See, trouble in paradise. There's obviously trouble brewing somewhere. Some dark, mysterious nonsense going on. Oh, and Rose's favourite toy. Okay, guns of our list. It's not paranoia. They really out to get you. See, there's people out to get us, but we don't know who. <laughs> and again, Ethan's face is blurred out. That's one thing I didn't really like about Resident Evil 7. Ethan is just painted as a black or as a blank canvas. So I didn't really find him as relatable as let's say Chris or Leon in previous games or even Claire. Because he's no background or anything. He just seems to have been um, wrapped up in an unfortunate situation. And here are all the maternity pics. Lovely. Wait, did I miss one? Oh yeah, I did. There's another one here. Ah, oh, and there's a little cutie. I wish it could stay like this forever. Yeah. So do I. Anyway, heading downstairs. I know I'm kind of rushing this, but uh, I suppose it's kind of better this way because at least I can cover more in one video because the, the first part was an hour in length, a little over an hour. At least this way, now that I know what I'm doing, now that I'm familiar with the combat, I can proceed a lot faster. Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. Ow, 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 ow. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down. Mia! Yeah, and this is where shit hits the proverbial fan. Mia. Oh, God. Oh, Chris, hey, tall, dark, and handsome. Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Go on, move. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. <laughs> Okay, so Rose is being referred to as the package, so I'm guessing she is another demon biohazard baby. Or some superhuman or something like that. So clearly, um, whatever had infected Mia at that time was passed on to Rose when she was conceived. Hey, Doc. Hello, Ethan. I've captured Dr. Chris Holtz back and I'd like you to come in to talk to myself. How about Max says he's holocaust? 
No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Okay, we matter. Again, all of these words are relevant. So it's almost like she doesn't care about Rose, at least in this one instance. So what is she? Some sort of test tube baby? Some sort of experiment gone awry? About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Okay, getting up on our feet slowly but surely. So, just gotta pick up one or two things here. The phone I can't pick up because it's useless. This mission objectives eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters, move the two Winters to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers are to accompany them. Hmm. Well, that didn't go as planned. And I can't just scooch in here, pick up some more things. No, I can't. As you can see, very dark, very creepy. Wait, am I stuck? Oh, I thought I picked it up. So just trudging my way slowly but surely through the brush, the brush, the bush is what I meant to say, sorry. Just got home from work, I am kind of tired. And I can't believe, <laughs> can't believe my, my uh, first experience of this got ruined. Well, it didn't get ruined, I enjoyed it, but again, I just, just let down by my own hardware. Oh, creepy noises. What else is new? Yeah, just slip underneath here. Get our hands cut. Lovely. That's what you get for being a klutz. Uh, do you know what? Funnily enough, I was kind of thinking. I was kind of thinking. I knew this would happen. I knew... Uh... My computer will crash. I had an idea. Oh, well. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, somebody's been numbing on some crows. Guess, uh... They don't have any KFC out here. Yeah, very creepy indeed. Okay, making good progress, making good time. Been recording for a little over 20 minutes. I might record for... <gasps> and there goes one of the... Uh, I, I don't know what they're called. Uh, one of the infected is what I assume they are. Like, I've n no idea of the official name for them yet, but we'll figure it out once we get there. Okay, so we go into this house where the blood is. Because, you know, follow the blood. That always makes sense. It's always the safest option in uh, horror games, apparently. Okay, and this, there's nothing in here bar some rope. 
don't know why I'm fiddling with this. And I don't know why you'd want to fiddle with that. I mean, like, look, the water's nasty. Clearly, it's um, not sanitary to drink from a sink in the first place. Okay, there is a bit of a frame rate drop, but... Hello? No, absolutely not a... Not a... Not a damn thing. Yeah, but I can't wait to meet Lady Dramitisku. Dramitisku. How do you pronounce her name? It's a French name, because I think we are in France. Some part of France. At least, uh, what I could tell when Mia mentioned what she was cooking. Something to do with legumes, and legume is French. And here's Jeebus. Brother to Jesus. Ooh, creepy. And we'll be seeing this little logo, this little insignia scattered throughout the game. No idea what it's about yet. And I should mention, I didn't play the newest demo that came out. I only played Maiden there, was it yesterday or the day before? Very much like. Uh, the first uh, demo for Resident Evil 7 when it first came out. What was it called? Kitchen. <gasps> yeah, and of course we must go investigate that. Is that what, that's what smart people do. They follow the noise. So yeah, like I was saying, um, Maiden pretty much starts the same way as Resident Evil 7's um, house or kitchen, whatever the name of the demo was. Okay, just a tech demo, just to get used to the feel of this game. And I'm pretty used to it by now. Can't wait to get to the castle and see uh, the big booba mama. I mean, she is a uh, very, very impressive, very intimidating. But that'll come later because we are far from Where the castle the at the moment. Well, I'm guessing you're still in France. If France is where this game is based. Yeah, that's it. Do the butt slide. As you can see, shit definitely went down here. Not the good kind either. That's if Maybe that's if out. you want to consider shit good. Yeah, everybody just skedaddle out of here as soon as possible. So, this village was raided by the. Um, And there goes one. Just ran off, did he? Yeah, he did. He skedaddled up somewhere down that way. Okay, there's nothing to pick up here. I don't think so. A lot of syringes. So that tells you something went down. Obviously, this was. This area was probably used as some sort of umbrella experimentation. People were definitely experimented on, is what I'm getting at. Okay, we have a well here. I need some kind of other item. That item would be a lever. Didn't get the lever. So there's probably going to be a lot of exploring, a lot of back and forth. And again, clearly people have no respect for the environment. I mean, look at all this rubbish. Who does that? Humans, that's who. Okay, and we just looped about, didn't we? Yeah, we came through that house. Then we can head down that way. But I want to go through here and see what's what and who's who. Yeah, I hear you stomping about the, up there. What's this doing here? 
good question. On, yeah, because this is uh, Mia's toy. Or Rose's to toy, sorry. And again, nothing in here. Empty. Yeah, empty, empty. And look, there's the insignia again. That is very weird. But you know, <coughs> excuse me, you know, you know, you know, Umbrella had a hand in this. Somehow. But I hope uh, we get to see Ethan's face. I don't like him being a blank slate. What happened? Well, obviously, murder and mayhem. That's what happened. And clearly, whoever did this was not too fond of goats or horses. Okay, so graveyard, workshop, and cemetery site. Ooh, that is going to be tons of fun. Oh, gee, okay, you got no luck due to missing homeowner. Missing. Yes, keyword missing. And we can't go through here. No, it's locked. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, if you're very familiar with Resident Evil uh, and its lore, you can assume what's happened here. And we got ourselves a combat knife. Smashy, smashy. And first aid. Gonna need lots of those. Did they just run out of the house? Uh... I guess so, or dragged out against a will. Uh, is there anything else here? No, 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 no. Ah, and who's behind curtain number one? No, no, friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? Well, geez, you look scared of witless. Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! There he goes. What the? Okay, that was only scary the first time. <sighs> Dead body. Yeah, why are you surprised? There's more. Our dead body. More dead bodies. Just one more deader than the rest. Hey, you awake? Jesus Christ. wrong with this place what would you like to know oh hi I see you there Jesus what'd you get I was going to say would you get your big COVID head off me but Probably a, a ravenous cannibal. No. And judging by the chunk he took out of your hand, 
That probably didn't satisfy him. Okay, going for all the headshots here. Get away! Oh yeah, I forgot I can guard. Go on, finish him. And down he goes. What the hell? Exactly, that's what I'd like to know. <sighs> wow, and look at the detail. Look at the detail on his hand. Just look at the wrinkles and the creases on his fingers. Clearly Capcom spent a lot more time on the models this time around. Seriously, I still want to see his face. I mean, he is still a blank canvas, at least to me. Okay, uh... What I need are bolt cutters, and I think they are in here, are they? Okay, that's nothing. Yeah, here we go. And just go explore here, pick up whatever items I can find. Oh, and herb. Okay, and I should probably use that now. Yeah, there we go. All better. Although I don't think I'll be growing my other two digits back anytime soon. I mean, at least uh, when I got my hand cut off in the previous game. I was able to get that reattached via staples, and that seemed to work out. Okay, I just can't see what's around here. Probably nothing. Yeah, exactly. Nothing. And a whole pile of it. Okay, that's the radio inside. Okay, yeah, there we go. Barricade the door. Nothing. Yeah, of course. <gasps> Jesus. Again, Ethan, you need to lay off the donuts or the Big Macs or something. Something needs to give. Clearly, you put on more than a little weight. Okay, I have to wait for one of them to break in, or two of them. Hey, get away! Punishment. I think you want more punishment. Okay, no one's dropped in there yet. No one's in here yet. No. Okay, that's good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that was a bad shot, that was a bad shot. <gasps> Get out of here with your big, scary COVID head, and that was my phone. <sighs> oh, oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, battery low. That's never a good sign. That's never a good sign. Go on, slicey dicey. Oh, thanks for the gunpowder. Okay, just want to check my phone. See if that's anything important. Over? Ah, uh, no, nothing important. Oh, and it's far from over, believe me, you. Wait, hold on. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Yeah. Guess this place was absolutely ransacked. Oh. Those aren't happy noises. Oh, hi. How you doing, lads? Yeah, you better back off. They won't back off. Okay, time to go. Okay, pick up my herb. And whatever else there is to pick up here, shotgun. Okay. Damn it. Ammo. Anything else? Oh, well. oh no, that's just a toy. Oh, ammo. Need that. And gunpowder. Okay, no, back up. Okay, there's a floor bag, there's a floor bag. Watch this, watch this. Oof. And down he goes. Down I go. They don't know how to climb. At least I don't think they know how to climb. Run us a scrap metal. All of this will be used to craft ammo and other various items. <gasps> oh, hi. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's bad. I need some help. Finish them off while I have a chance. Thank you, I'll be taking that. Uh, do I have a herb? Do I have another herb? I don't. And I don't have enough items to craft this. I don't. Wait. Hold on. No, I do. There we go. Oh, better. Hey, don't you skip Jesus. You're armed with bows and everything. They're armed to the teacher. Whoa. Just gonna move this over here. There we go. Can't just let them break in. Because there's a barrel here. Come on, do your worst. Go on. Boom. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh. <gasps> Ouch. And I have to defeat a set number of these guys before I can move on. And yes, these guys can climb roofs. <gasps> Jeez, and I'm almost out of ammo, so I'm pretty much screwed. Get off me! Down you go. Well, thank God this guy is kind of stupid. He doesn't know how to climb. Wait. I wasn't hit by anyone. Oi. Shit, I was. I was. I was. I was. 
Bring it on. Need to move the mic closer so you can hear me then better. There, that would be a bit better. <laughs> Get off my roof. Well. More sturdy than you. Ow, look. And down he goes. Ow. Okay. Ow. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Lordy Lou. Say don't spray it. Yeah, hi, how you doing? See you later, Spring Hill Jack. <sighs> oh, they done a good number on you, didn't they? I wonder, Scranny. Wait, wait. Okay, I'll be following her in a second. I just want to check around here for some. Oh, Crystal Skull. Yeah, I forgot I picked that up in the first part as well, or the initial recording. So I just want to scavenge some ammo, because I'm pretty sure I had more the last time. So I must have missed out on some somewhere. Yeah, got everything from here. And I don't think I can backtrack through here, can I? Oh, I can. But I don't think there is anything I would have forgotten, no. And Granny's at the other side of that. Nothing's changed here, no. But here's the interesting thing about these enemies. They seem to have some form of higher intelligence, so it would seem. Because you saw one of them riding on a horse. They're not just mindless creatures, well, for the most part. And this is a very ominous gate. I'll be coming through here at some point or another. Again, very Resident Evil 4-esque. So I'm glad this game has gone back to its roots, because the thing that let me down about Resident Evil 5 and 6 is that you didn't have the same sense of uh, vulnerability as you did in 4. Because in all of those games, in yeah, four, five, or sorry, in 5 and 6, you had a partner, so you didn't feel you were ever in danger because you had someone backing you up all the time. So you had a Sheva in Resident Evil 5. Don't think anybody really liked her. Hope not for any racist reasons, but just because it just didn't feel the same as Resident Evil 4. Like for a game to feel you no know, scary, you need to have that sense of vulnerability. And I'm guessing they're going to bring this back here with 7. And they have done a good job of it so far. I'm just not as scared now because I know what I'm up against. Hey, Granny. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? 
You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? It's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Rose is here? Okay, I'm glad you find that funny. You're not the one missing half a hand. And there she wanders into the distance. Okay. Now, at this point in my first recording, I'd recorded, um, I was up to an hour. So, yeah, I've saved pretty good time. I've made uh, pretty good time. So, I'll record for another five minutes or so. And see what's what and who's who. Okay, more of this assemblage here. Okay, got camp fluid. Okay, oh, great lichens. The fabled monster wolves of old. May they come eat our flesh. May they come tear us apart. Wait, what? It, she said something about a journal. Oh, yes. Here we go. Okay, we've got some files here. Where, when the hell, hell did I pick this up? Okay, February 9th, dawn, some forest. It should have been a night like any other, but then Chris Redfield came in and destroyed our family. He took Rose away, shot Mia right in front of me. I was knocked out and now I'm in some forest in the middle of nowhere. What the hell is going on? February 9th. I found a village just outside of the forest, but... One of the villagers was attacked and dragged off by some kind of beast. I managed to survive those creatures, and an old woman told me Rose is here, somewhere. I need to find her before those monsters get to her too. And I'm guessing... Rose might be some sort of beacon? She might have, she might have been infected with the mold virus during conception or something like that, because her mother, Mia was infected with that as well but i don't think that ever went away despite getting treatment in an umbrella facility that last part i made up i assume she got treatment for it and was at least somewhat cured but maybe not okay so that's all very interesting and very lovely okay view m view map so, Maiden of War. This is the square here. Pretty big area. Lots to explore. So, that's the ceremony site. What do you want to bet? It's locked. Yeah, it's locked from the other side. Knew it. Okay, still plenty of places to explore here. Yeah, locked. So I can either go here or here. And I choose to go here. Oh, 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 what's this? Rusted scrap. Okay, now do I have enough to make some ammo? Uh, Gunpowder 2. Oh, yeah, here we go. 33 bullets. Yeah, plenty. Now ready for some more action. Okay, guess I'm not going in there. Wait, yellow tape. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, so if it has yellow tape on it, it means it's basically a key item, a key... A key thing that I can interact with. Okay, so this is the cemetery. Very spooky. 
What's that? A, a book? A piece of stone? What? Yeah, I'll probably get that later. Okay, spoopy monsters. You ready to scare the shit out of me again? Wait, what was that I picked up? A herb? Yeah, a herb, I think so. Uh, yes. Need two key items to proceed, of course. Typical Resident Evil. Or I can go straight up. But I'm guessing that gate's also locked. Yeah, it is locked. Okay, only one more place to go. Wait, wait, what does the sign say? Stronghold, graveyard, and mill. Well, we'll be visiting those areas for a while. Yeah, I need some kind of other item. That is a lever, which I don't have. Jesus. This area just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Okay, locked. Wow. And that thing over there, that's going to jump up and do the oogie boogie. I assume. Oh, wow. Oh, use typewriters to save your progress. Oh, classic typewriters. Lovely. Do I need ink ribbons? Oh, thank God. No, I don't. Okay, and we got a maiden crest. And examine this. Should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crests. One is in the church, the other is at Louise's house. Okay, so we gotta go to Louise's house to get the other. And this is the big booba mama here. The big booba mama being um, Lady Dremitisku, if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm guessing these are all people here we'll all face, or I'll, I'll face off against at some point. So I'll head quickly to Louise's place. Is that marked on the map? Yeah, no it's not. Oh. I'm guessing this is the next area I head to to get a lockpick. Yep. <gasps> Oh, why me? I'd rather not deal with any more of those folk. I mean, can I just sneak around them? Oh, I don't think so. Well, at least I've got bullets for them. And maybe if I'm quiet, they won't bother me. Okay, more gunpowder. Good, good. Oh, hi. Okay, no, not doing battle with you here. You can come to me. That's it, take it slowly. There goes your body. Okay, he disintegrated in a very weird way. <gasps> oh, 
Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Not here. Yeah, where I can see you. Come on, don't make me waste my ammo. And down you go. And more rusted scrap. Thank you for that. See, that's the thing with this game. You battle them on your own terms. What did I put a TH sounding? Um, a TH sound there. Terms. It'd be cool if I could just one shot this guy, but I don't think I can. Again, just lure him down here because I won't be able to see him in the bush. No, 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 no. I'm running out of bullets. And I'm running out of patience. And off goes your head. Chem fluid, nice. And what else is here? Gunpowder. Yeah, so it would definitely be time to craft some bullets. I can't craft shotgun shells yet now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I should be good on ammo. Yeah, 21 bullets. And hopefully I can find some more. Hey, we all good here? We all good? Close the door. <gasps> Please. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, what are you doing here? Stay back. Please, don't hurt us. Okay, Whoa. I won't, I won't. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house, and she's not answering, and the gate is locked. Quiet, girl. He's an outsider. Oh. Shit, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. Must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. Okay, <coughs> can I go outside? Can. Uh oh. Okay, let me in. Hang on, Papa. Let's do something quick. Okay, we must. Mustn't we? They don't harbor you, they'll... they'll... They'll what? Yeah, they'll gobble you up alive? Yeah, that... That seems like their uh, number one motivation here. And we got gunpowder, which I can't reach. Oh, here we go. Anyway, I've been recording for about an hour. I think I got a good bit done. Yeah, a little over an hour now, according to my webcam footage. So it can be watered down to about maybe 55 minutes there, thereabouts. Yeah, all in all, very impressed so far, especially with the character models. I mean, again, look at the hands. I mean, look at the detail on that. You can see wrinkles, you can see his veins. And of course, that uh, little creases in his fingers as well. So, yeah. Very nice attention to detail. And I'm loving the combat so far. Very easy. I mean, uh, also, you have to be very, very savvy with your ammo. Like, don't fight the monsters on their terms. Don't go rushing into the fields. Don't try and fight them in the bushes because you're just going to waste ammo that way. Excuse me for almost spitting. Uh, yeah. 
enjoying it so far. I can't wait to meet uh, the lady of the mansion over there when I, whenever I get over there. Won't be for about. Yeah, don't know. I don't know. Don't, don't know why I'm trying to estimate these things. Either way, I can't wait to unravel this story. It's a story I'm interested in more than the actual gameplay. Well, the game gameplay as well. I mean, of course, like the main function of any game is for it to be, you know, playable. <laughs> Either way, guys, you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, please, God, don't crash when I end it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, as always, I will see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.